Greetings, you piles of high-value scrap, and welcome back to TerraTech with me, Lathrax, and of course, welcome to the episode where we're finally going to be doing some proper base building. Today, I have three goals. The first of which is to expand our factory so that we can hold more components. The second of which is to make a fully functioning power station, essentially using the steam vents all over our lovely wastelands. And finally, to build some permanent turrets which use that energy. So really high defenses, everything's nice and protected and then we can do whatever we want nice and easily. Now, a lot of people have recommended simply adding weapons to the bridge itself, and though that is a really fun idea, I really want turrets. I want to have turrets all around our perimeter so it's all nice and protected. So maybe I'll add more weapons to the base itself in the future, but for now, I want the base to look civilian, kind, lovely, not malicious at all. This shouldn't have kept me entertained for 10 minutes, but it has. If you put this block on the right, it turns the vehicle to the right. If you put this block on the left, it turns the vehicle to the left. Because anti-grav vehicles are really, really vulnerable to these types of things. If you have any weight disparity, you will turn into that side. <laughs> 10 minutes. I will grow a brain one day. Just, maybe not today. Whee! Here we are, approaching our base. Okay, so the first thing we need to do then is change up our factory. All I'm going to do this time is just extend it so it has enough storage for all of these components. Because I'll definitely be doing component runs like this again in the future because of how expensive everything is we currently want. There we are. Lay down our anchors, and we'll just stay here for the time being since I do want to put all the components into the section over here to feed it into the machine. So, I'll be right back once I've made some changes to our factory. Hello there, Derp. One of the most lovely things with this is finally I can do this. There we go, the base is now in line with the wall, so what we're going to do is we're going to extend this wall on both sides and make it all look very much part of the base and not just a random tech in the middle of nowhere. So that's going to look so much nicer. Then we're going to actually build the wall on both sides, which will look beautiful. Then we can move over to the power station and our permanent turrets. Also, all the selling stuff will be reinstalled on the top here, so it's all just one big rectangle, rather than the mess it was before. And I've even fixed the issue of having these silos ending up with mixed resources, so even that's going to look nice and neat afterwards. Hey everyone, Future Lathrix here, as is tradition at this point with the TerraTech series, just to say a massive thank you to everyone who is continuing to support this series on the channel. It has been an absolute blast so far, and although there have been some serious delays recently due to me moving house out of kind of nowhere, I am now back recording TerraTech as much as possible. The move should be completed in the next week or two, so there may be a few minor delays still to come, but hopefully TerraTech should be back in its normal schedule in the next week or two, as I just mentioned. So back Back to our usual stuff and this video is definitely one of those ones where I spent a lot of time at sorting out everything and it was an absolute blast for me. So with that and the usual shilling, likes, comments and interaction really do help out and massively help out the channel and I cannot begin to express my gratitude to all of the support so far. So with that, back to the past and back to building our newest creation, the power plant. That's so much neater looking. Lovely. Yep, all is working as intended. All the fabricators are in and everything else. Everything is functional. Now to quickly build up a couple of walls on both sides. Then we'll go and do the main thing of this entire episode, which is build a power plant. And then figure out how to build, essentially, pylons. It's going to be weird and inefficient and stupid, but it's going to be glorious. I could be just adding stuff to this all day, so we're going to leave it as it is. I am really happy with how this turned out. It actually looks like part of the entire structure now, so yeah, really happy. All I'm going to do now is just plug the gap over here with some walling and do the same with this section. Then this whole area is almost completely done. I might add some walling to the left eventually, but yeah, really close. The only thing I don't like is how close it is to this bridge. I didn't quite realize just how much it would stretch out, so it's going to be a little bit difficult moving certain techs. I do need to build a more nimble tech eventually. But that's normally not my style. Clunky is my style. And this will be our first of the two power stations. There's three over here and there's four over there, but these are really close to the base. So we could potentially, rather than going along the outside, just jump up onto the cliff here and go along there instead. That would be a bit more annoying since I do want lots of the turrets to be on ground level so I can actually target techs a bit easier, but still, 
We get the idea. So then, let's put down our geothermal generators. I wonder if there's a way to... Pr there probably is a way to get multiple of these on a single vent, because the game is a bit weird with that kind of stuff. I'm just going to go with one anyway. So these three up, I'm going to build a little building around them all, and then we can start sending energy away and building pylons using the larger remote chargers. Don't know why I've made it an octagon, but I have. So this is the very base level. I'm going to add some walls to the side, add some armor, and add some bubbles and shields, since this thing needs to be fully protected. I also think we might need a bit more transfer than that, at least at this base level. Or I could just build them in. Actually, you know what? That would be better, wouldn't it? This ring... Yeah, let's undo all this. Then I'll build inwards from the octagon, and then all of these will be part of the main base. Well, got the basic shape done. So we have the little octagon shape at the end here, some little extra sections on the outside, which will act as, like, defense struts. I don't know, something to make it look a little bit more reinforced and not just mostly floating in the air. I'll build down as much as I can, and I don't think it's going to be that tall, ultimately. I think inside there's probably going to be something else, but on the outside, maybe three or four blocks high all the way around, just so it's a little bit taller than most techs. And then I'm not sure if I'm going to add weapons to the power station itself, or we're just going to have our defense turrets. We do have our regular turrets at the moment, which are able to be um, deployed whenever. But I do want some which are powered by only the station, so I'll probably remake these quickly soon as well. Yeah, if we have three of these, one there, one there, one over here, that should be plenty to defend it. If they're a bit bigger and a bit scarier. Going to be scrapping and crafting a lot of stuff. Really liking how it's coming along so far, but what I think it needs is more spikes. That's better and more friendly and welcoming. Though I've decided I don't like having so many hatches all over the place. Thought it'd look cool, didn't. More spikes. This has now taken 10 day and night cycles to put together, since most of the stuff I am crafting, because it's cheaper, and I am almost completely out now of resources to sell, so the rest of my money and the rest of the stuff I've got stored is pretty much it. So all I want is some kind of dome in the center that's going to house a load of batteries, and then maybe some very basic weaponry on these corners. Don't know, doesn't really matter if they're there or not, it's mostly just for looks. And then I need to build at least one pylon, at least one defense turret, so at least then I know what I'm making. With this as well, it took a long time to build this time, but I can now copy and paste it, so I can paste it over on the other side once I have enough resources to do that. There's also one steam, guys. It's a couple of singles over there. I don't think I'll bother with those. I think I'll just go straight to the other three as well. I'm really happy with how this has turned out, honestly. It's pretty simplistic, but it looks sturdy and strong. Some batteries along the base, and then our beating heart are the gluon battery. This thing can store an insane amount of energy. Which means, if any of our defense turrets or anything along our power grid gets attacked and then needs reinforcement quickly, there's always going to be a big storage over here. Since the passive drain won't be too bad, even when we have multiple turrets. Still very much in the scaffolding stage right now. I just want to get this very centre heart done, then the tops of the towers. Then I'm going to say this is done for now, then move on to the power grid itself, all the pylons, and at least one turret design. Then I'll come back to this and finish this off. What I think I'm probably going to do is quite simple. On the layer just underneath where I'm building now, I'm just going to go back to normal GSO blocks and build a fake kind of floor. Just make it look a bit more interesting. Actually, could I get one underneath that? I probably could. Let's have a look around. Yeah. Okay, that's all I'll do. That's after all this, though. I want to make sure I've got enough resources to get all the basic stuff done first. Missiles are always a good idea when it comes to static defense. That should be enough burst damage as well, if anything does get close enough, that should deal with it, really. Yeah, I'm really happy with everything so far. I do think the centre looks good, but it looks weird right now since it has no base to it. Again, that's just something we're going to have to do later, because that's going to be a big undertaking when it comes to resources. I'm actually going to go back now and start crafting some stuff, because there's a lot more I need to make. We've got a basic power grid. Lovely. 
And we also have a very, very basic turret. It's not much to look at, but it has all the weapons I currently have available in a few numbers. So it has some of the auto cannons and then some missiles at its back. It has a decent power supply and lots and lots of shielding, so it should be able to kill pretty much anything of decent size. And there should always be multiple of them probably aggroing on a single target, so... Yeah, that will definitely get the job done. So I just need to fabricate a few more things so I can have at least four of the turrets and at least two more of the pylons. Then I can defend the base and I can defend this entrance over here, which is the only entrance so far which I've been really worried about. Thankfully, the one with the bridge, for some reason, just doesn't spawn enemies. I don't know why that is, but it doesn't. But I still want some turrets there eventually. But right now, this whole half of the base, I think I can finally get protected. Took a while, but there we go. So now we have four defense turrets. The three here and the three at the back. Okay, back to the base again. This is taking so long, there's probably so little usable footage at the moment. He's mostly just crafting, building, trying to make things look good, redoing everything because it's me, and then finally deciding on a basic design. So how am I going to place these then? So three around the energy base. And they don't need the pylons, since they're close enough. Then the pylons will go along here to about here. And then I can place a defense turret right at the mouth of this cave. And that should defend against everything. Since it seems like as long as there's something in here, anywhere in here, nothing spawns in here. But things still spawn around this corner. So as long as that's protected, that's half of our base pretty much immune. I hope. We'll see. What on earth is that that has spawned in? Look at that thing. Uh, defense turret and friends, please help. Well. That apparently worked. Oh, defending against the first enemy, which apparently so far away it's not moving any closer. Oh, looks like it got pretty much taken out, and now it's just a tiny little, little thing, which is hard to hit. Well, at least it proves their range is very, very decent. Why isn't your shield turning on? There we go. That took you a surprisingly long amount of time. Yeah, the, the energy transfer isn't quick, I'll say that much. We need way more of the remote chargers if you want them to be any faster. Okay, you're going to go over here instead. You're very poorly placed, considering how close you are to that, to that last one. Probably that there might be better. Yeah, there we go. Okay, the base is protected by three of the turrets. It has its, its own missiles as well, in case something does get too close. The pylons are basically being protected from both the base and the turret itself. Then over here... Oh, yeah, it actually killed something over here a moment ago. I remember getting money. This is now defending this section. And it's about to prove it again. And the enemies do seem to like to attack the actual turrets themselves, not the pylons, I've noticed, which is lovely. Maybe one more turret might be nice. Like here. Uh, it's a bit expensive, but okay, let's make one more turret, and then this whole section is very, very well protected. Yeah, I really like that, actually. So we're going to go with the standard two blocks. I tried some of the longer blocks as well, but I prefer this pattern, just having nice and simple like that. It also means if we ever want to add anything else to this base, it'll be nice and easy to do. And once it's done, it'll all look nice and complete. So, back to the base. Now to craft. I mean, this was like 50, so many hundreds of these blocks. Well, this took way longer than expected, but one quarter is done. And I rather like it. Now, we need some more stuff in this corner, I think, because it looks a little bit weird like this. But there we go. It's going to have reinforcements along here, along the main set. That'll also block the bottom of this, so it looks a bit less weird. We can then also integrate the actual generators into the flooring, which I think will look nice. This one's always going to be a bit weird, just because how it was placed in the end, this geothermal generator. To the point in which I'm tempted to remove the horizontal lines here and only have the vertical one. No, I like it in quarters, so it's just going to look a little, little bit weird here, 
but I think that'll be fine. This is going to take at least another couple of hours, I think. Okay, everything's still accessible. This actually was quite pretty. I think we are done now, at least for the main structure. I still want to add some stuff in these corners eventually, but... Yeah, I think it looks really neat. I'm going to wait until daytime so I can see it properly and then give my final verdict before moving on to our next task. There are so, so many tasks to do. I can think of at least three other structures I want in the main base. Not least of all, an air hangar. Because it's been so long since I just basically crash every single plane directly into the floor every time I want to land. It would be nice to have somewhere where we can just land things properly. A bit of flat territory would be gorgeous. There we go. I are even in the centre as well. So apparently I should have double checked because it turns out, wow, it lags so much now when we load everything in. It turns out there are actually four of the steam geysers over here, so this would have been a little bit more power. But it's nothing too major because I will be building a base over here as well. I want one of those power stations defending each side of the base. I then want the pylons to come from our new base all the way along and that one is going to defend the entrance. So all this section we're flying over right now. And honestly, I am really happy with how this all turned out. I can't wait until there's way more pylons, way more turrets. This whole area is looking so industrial already, and I am absolutely happy with it. Which, again, for me, happy with my own builds, very rare. I'm going to savour this moment. A few things I can do a bit more detail with, but all that's just minor stuff for later. One last look, now it's daytime. Yep, incredibly happy with that. Super industrial looking. So, to round off the episode, what we're going to do is we're going to go off and do Mine Island Rescue. This is one of the story missions for Venture, and I am a little bit behind on Venture, actually. Venture is the only one we have not maxed out. Everything else we are maxed out except for Rescue Research as well, but that one will reveal itself more later, I think. I think I'm missing one of the story missions, but it's not popping up, so I think I might need to finish off everything else. I'll need to look that up, but this is the last of the basic corporations. So, off we fly to the Mine Island Rescue, which there might be some combat with, finally. We've been building and peaceful for far too long, and it's slowly driving me a bit mad. I'm also now realising this is not the newest version of this plane, and that's why we're going so slow. But it is very easy to handle. Well, this is one I haven't seen before either. A slippery slope. Well then, I've definitely done Mine Island Rescue. But this is new. Okay, change of plan, we're doing a different venture mission. Because yeah, never seen this one before. Find the Ice Mountain. We're broadcasting live from on board the Eskimo One Extreme Ice Sports radio ship, bringing you the latest Below Zero challenge from the surface world. Introducing the Ice Crawlers, these two brothers have been hard at work reshaping terrain and raising scaffolding to create their greatest challenge yet. Challengers, there has yet to be a tech, oh, yet to be a tech that has reached the top of the mountain. Can you be the one to slide past the obstacles and climb the undefeated mountain? I think I may have just actually went past it. Oh yes, we did. Look at that. Whoa. I've changed my mind again. We're going to do this next video. Okay, that, that needs some more attention. That needs to be properly looked at because that looks amazing. And I'm not going to just do it now. When I've only got like 15, 20 minutes before I really need to get to doing other stuff. Moving house and all that. We are so currently sorting out loads of stuff. And actually have a meeting with someone soon. So, next time. Because that looks really cool. So let's just do the Mine Island Rescue. I can't quite remember what this one is either, but it's definitely one I've done before. I remember the name. That looks like a mine island to me. I'm over here! Help! I'm stuck on this island! Oh, hello. Look out, the moat is full of mines. So get on to Shard... to Mine Island, rather. Shard Island? No, a Shard came from there. Repulsor refines you repellent. Oh, does Repulsor throw you ra Oh, is that how you're meant to get across? See, I, I do remember Mine Island, but I don't remember it looking like this. Like Repulsor, especially. Okay, let's make a small tech and see if we can get thrown across then. I'm guessing that's the goal here. 
A nice wibbly wobbly two wheeled thing. Hello, Repulsor. Hmm. Your range is a bit more limited than I expected. Whee! Oh, nope, let's try that again. <laughs> Not quite again there, lad. Hey! Finally! A victory here! Thank goodness you made it! Sire Repulsor- Oh, Repulsor is targetable, but also invincible. Oh, can I actually lock onto the target here? This is my island! Get out of here! Yeah, we can tell he's, held, he's holding you captive. However, is he actually going to attack me, Wimpy? Alright, that's enough. You're going to regret messing with my business, says Gruntle. Well, lost a lot of wheels already. There we go. Glory to basic missiles. So you need a new booster. Okay, well, that's easy. Boop. And there we go. One slightly miscolored one. I just did. Wait. I just did. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, oh, there we go. I did. Oh, do you need two? No, you just need what I did. Hmm. Well, this is a problem. Is it just because it's a different skin? Is it smaller? Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> well, ah, oh, you had a specific booster. You wanted this one in particular. Okay, I'm going to leave the area and hopefully it'll fix itself. I attached it somewhere else and it's made it worse. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, brilliant. Thankfully, my auto save was actually just before the fight, apparently. Yeah, I don't do manual saving in this game. I just let out the auto save to take part. Perhaps that's a stupid thing. But yeah, thankfully, the auto save was just before the fight. I tried turning it off and on again, and essentially this worked. Oh. I have a much tougher time actually just destroying him this time, apparently. Goodbye, Gruntle. Okay, is it this booster you want? I need you to place the booster that you took from me. Okay, yep, so definitely that one. Okay. <laughs> that is bizarre. Okay, there we go. Great, thanks so much for your help. You're welcome, Wimpy. Now it's confusing, the poor thing. This is actually quite a nice place. As I've said a million times during this playthrough, I could totally build a vase here. It's really nice. Goodbye, Wimpy. If the game had auto-saved a little bit later, we would be permanently bugged out from that mission. Thankfully, it didn't. So there we go. We now may continue with our adventure. So with that, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Terratech is a series you wish to see continued in the future. And as I'm sure Future Lathic has already mentioned, at the moment, there are going to be some delays in videos since we are moving house. It all kind of happened suddenly. It wasn't really our choice. And yeah, pressure, stress, everything wrong in the universe suddenly happened. And now time isn't really all that available to us. But thankfully, we have almost now completed most of the stuff for the move. We're getting internet into the new place literally tomorrow. That's what I'm meeting a person for literally later today. Literally. And literally everything is a lot better. Literally. So, I hope you have a literal good day. Do take care. And until next time, goodbye. Literally!